stacking the boxes for Jazz. The power, the speed, the electricity. <laughs> you know, I've been on TV with a lot of people. I've never met anyone that enjoys watching himself as much as I enjoy watching myself. <laughs> Jazz Chisholm is a big fan of Jazz Chisholm, and I love that about you. So we've got your own segment. It's called Smooth Jazz. And you're going to be walking us through the best defensive plays, the smoothest defensive plays of the day, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're going to take away from the games today, see how, who was the smoothest guys on the field okay. today. So let's uh, start off. Uh, we're going where? Houston? Houston with Jeremy Pena. Look at this pick right here, man. And then he puts down the tag. But look what's even better. Watch him, watch him block the bag right quick. Oh, you don't even notice that. No, you don't. Right. Like, that's as smooth as you could be. You get that on replay right now. You know, Josh Donaldson, bro. I mean, this makes up, right? Makes up for the getting tagged out on an almost homer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. I mean, look how smooth They won the game. Is, nice yeah. backhand. Look at the slide. And this is the biggest one of them all, bro. Nick Castellanos, not known for his glove. Bottom of the ninth, 7-6. And he put a little slide in there. You, you ever see Nick that. Castellano slide like that? <laughs> like, come on. Come on, make it big plays. You know, he might be up there with you as my two favorite personalities in baseball. Really? Right? Yeah, I, I call him my uh, my spirit animal. Uh, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a lot of fun, man. Why. Thank you. Of course. That was really smooth. Of course. I'm going to walk over here. I don't know if I would describe <laughs> my next guy as smooth. <laughs> But man, he's a lot of fun. No one's ever described him as smooth. No <laughs> the, one's ever described The me mayor. As <laughs> and you're going to be talking about your masters of the yes, day. Yes, yes. So, so what is that about? There, I want to talk about the guys that are getting it done, going big fly. and Like the best bullets. approach offensively today? The best today? approach offensively, yes. Okay, so you got a list of guys? Yes. All right, who oh, you yeah. with? Matt Olson, you got to go out there. And listen, even though they didn't win the game, he was dominant today. Absolute rocket to left there. Then the three run bomb. He'll be ready for game two. Matt Olson, you got to give him some love right out the gates because obviously he was getting it done out there. In he ended the regular season red hot. Yeah, we're going to stay right here in Atlanta. Why not Nick Castellanos? Man, this guy came out today with some big hits. That ball up and in goes to right center. That's what he does so well. When the Castellanos is hot, he's taking that ball middle in and going to right center. He had a big hit right here. Ball out over the plate, hit, hit a rocket. But this guy right here, this is the man. This is the masher, the guy that did everything the Astros needed today to win it. He hit, was hitting rockets all day long. And then this one right here off Robbie Wet Ray. Walk off three run bomb. Yordan Alvarez, let's go. Let's get it. Game one. Dusty Baker said one of the best games he's ever been a part of. Uh, batting third in the lineup because he had Alex yes. Bregman cleaning up. In our segment, we've got Harold Reynolds cleaning oh, up. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> That's good, Greg. Yeah. Oh, now, smooth. the whole point of cleaning up is even though you win a game, yes. you might make a mistake that you have to clean up yes. to ensure you don't lose a game in a series later on, right? Oh, absolutely. And I got one play what all middle infielders go through. Like the pitcher's there, and you go, hey, back at you, you and me, you got it, right? So you're telling him who it's going to be. So in this case, the shortstop or the second baseman are going to tell him who's covering if a ball's hit back to him. So I saw this in the Philly game. They can't afford to mess this up. And you think, okay, when I first saw it, I thought, all right, uh, Segura's backing him up. No big deal. What was the pitcher doing? Just a bad throw. But then when I looked at it again, they're in the shift. Segura's the closest guy right there. He's the second baseman. But when he puts his hands up, you're telling the guy to throw to me. Right. Now it confuses him. You might have said before the play, that it's back at just the shortstop. I don't know what they conveyed, but the way the shortstop played it, I would have said the shortstop had the comebacker. But when Segura threw his arms up, the pitcher turns around and he's moving with his head. First thing he sees is an arm up, and he goes, ah! You got to clean that up a little bit. Can't make those kind of mistakes. Could cost you, especially against a team like Atlanta, that yes. if you give them an extra out, they will make you pay. 